So, remember that Baldi Space Iceberg I did? Well, let's one-up that. Literally. This is the Super Mario Bros. Iceberg Explained. Also, I'm going to be skipping the first two layers of the iceberg, simply because almost everybody knows what's on these layers. So anyways, let's jump into layer 3. Super Mario 128. This is a tech demo shown at Space World 2000 to show off the power of the GameCube. The Impossible Goomba. Basically, in Super Mario 64, there's a Goomba that you can't defeat, who spawns at the death barrier and can't be defeated. Nintendo hates Waluigi. This is just a fan theory that states that maybe Nintendo hates Waluigi, and that's why he hasn't gotten his own games yet, or why he hasn't been in Smash. Silicon Graphics. Basically the company that helped Nintendo create the Nintendo 64, and create the Super FX chip that powered games like Super Mario 64. Super Mario Galaxy More. Super Mario Galaxy 2 was originally going to be an add-on for Super Mario Galaxy 1, with just more stuff added to it, which is why it was called Super Mario Galaxy More. Black Boxes. In Super Mario 64 DS, Wario is the only character that can break black boxes. Mario 85. Just a simple creepypasta Mario fan game. Yoshi planned since Super Mario Bros. 1. Due to technical limitations, Yoshi could not be in Super Mario Bros. 1. It wasn't until five years later that Yoshi would be introduced in Super Mario World. Jumping over the flagpole. You can jump over the flagpole in Super Mario Bros. 1. It just takes a little bit of preparation and a bit of hard work to do. New Super Mario Bros. Walkthrough Part 22. This video holds the Guinness World Record for the most views on a single gameplay video on YouTube. 1-3 UFO. In the level 1-3 of Super Mario 3D Land, if you look through the binoculars, you can see a UFO in the sky. Starman Fort. Simply just an unused galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 1. And that's all for layer 3, now on to layer 4. Chicken Suit. Basically an unused power-up in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Mario Plex. In one of Game Theory's videos on Super Mario Maker, he came up with a number called a Mario Plex, which is the number of possible levels that could ever be made in Super Mario Maker. The Impossible Coin. Normally there are five rows of coins in Super Mario 64, but with this row in Tiny Huge Island, it's impossible to get the fifth coin because it's hidden underneath the map. Beta Yoshi Design Thanks to the 2020 Nintendo Giga Leak, an early design of Yoshi was found in Super Mario World. Centaur Power Up There's going to be a centaur based power up for a Mario game, but it ended up going unused. Trample and Stew just an unused enemy in Super Mario Sunshine. Rosalina's early design. Rosalina's early design made her look a lot more like Princess Peach than anything. Star Toads. Before Lumas were a thing, there were Star Toads. That's basically it. Yellow Cap Switch. An unused yellow cap switch was found in the files of Super Mario 64. What was this cap meant for? Nobody knows. Super Mario Parkour. These are two videos by the YouTubers Dark Pixel. It's just two guys doing parkour in Mario and Luigi outfits. Daisy's third eye. There was a modeling error on one of Daisy's models that caused a third eye to appear on her head. Gold Raccoon Mario statue. If you somehow manage to collect 9,999,999 coins in New Super Mario Bros. 2, you get a gold Raccoon Mario statue on the title screen. Nintendo taking down fan games. Yeah, sometimes Nintendo does take down fan games of their IPs. Hanging Luigi. Due to a lighting error, Luigi's shadow can be seen higher than it normally is when the mansion goes lights go out while you're taking a phone call. Super Mario 64 2. A sequel to Super Mario 64 was planned but ultimately ended up getting scrapped. Ice Flower and Red Star Mario. Both of these power-ups were planned for Super Mario Galaxy 2, but ultimately never went used. Alright, another layer down. 
Let's see how much deeper the Mario Iceberg can go. Kug. Kug is just an unused enemy in Sumari Sunshine. Purple Prizes. This is a hoax image that went around the internet years and years ago. The hoax claimed that you can unlock Waluigi in Super Mario 64 DS, but it was ultimately just that, a hoax. Blarg. The Blarg enemy was going to be in Super Mario 64, but ended up getting scrapped. Mario kills Tanuki. Oh, Peta. Back at it again. Giga Mushroom. In Bowser's Fury, there was going to be a Giga Mushroom that was available, but ended up getting scrapped. Scripulous Fingor. This is a hoax enemy for New Super Mario Bros. I guess Bowser's on vacation. In the video game Gex Enter the Gecko, one of the characters says, I guess Bowser's on vacation. Human character in Super Mario Sunshine trailer. If you look closely, in the earliest Super Mario Sunshine trailer, there's what looks to be a human character on the left hand side of the screen. What would this human character do? We just don't know. Ely Mouth Stomach. In Super Mario Sunshine, the Ely enemy has his entire stomach modeled. I'm not sure why, considering you can't go into the stomach normally. So I guess it's a mystery as to why it was fully modeled. Isle Delfino. There's a hoax video going around that Isle Delfino was going to come to Super Mario Odyssey. It didn't. He just looked like a Larry. When all the Koopalings were being named, the translator who named them based their names off of popular musicians. When it came to Larry, the translator just said, he just looks like a Larry. And that was that. Chocolate Factory Level. Yet another hoax. But this is for the original Super Mario Bros. People were saying that there's a hidden chocolate factory level in the game. But there wasn't. King Koopa's Cool Cartoons. This is a really weird live action TV show regarding around King Koopa. I highly recommend you look into it yourself because it's very interesting. Anyways, let's move on. SMB 3's World 3 looks like Japan. In Super Mario Bros. 3, the World 3 map looks a lot like Japan, if you look closely. Peach and Wario in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Both Peach and Wario were going to appear in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but Peach was scrapped due to issues animating her dress, whereas Wario was scrapped due to the inability of him to fart. I'm being serious. Orange slash S Mario. This is a scrapped version of Mario in Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario Galaxy DS. Somebody created an entire video hoax saying that Super Mario Galaxy was available on the DS. Super Mario FX. This was the original name of Super Mario 64 because Super Mario 64 was brought to life using the Super FX chip. Super Mario 64 Temporary. Any early footage you see of Super Mario 64, it's going to be labeled as Super Mario 64 Temporary. If Super Mario 64 was not the final name, then what name did Nintendo have on their mind? Super Mario Odyssey Prototype. We know that a prototype of Super Mario Odyssey exists, but we haven't seen any footage of it. So what changed from the prototype to the final release? Rejected McDonald's Sponsorship. McDonald's liked that Mario had an M on his hat, similar to their logo, so they called him Nintendo, wanting to sponsor them. Nintendo said no. That's obviously not the full story, but it's very long and kind of complicated. The Impossible Dry Bones In one of the beach levels of Super Mario Galaxy, a Dry Bones spawns at the Death Barrier as soon as you load into the level. Why was this Dry Bones here? Koopa Kid. This is a pretty obscure Mario Party character. Iggy uses Larry's hair. Due to an oversight in Super Mario World's development, Iggy actually uses Larry's hair in the final game. Super Hoyner Bros. This is a parody of the Super Mario Bros. 
their distribution rights were bought by Nintendo, so nobody can distribute them. The first movie is lost, but the second one has partially been found. Laser Suit. Another Super Mario World hoax. This one is from 2006, where somebody claims they can unlock a laser suit by using an alternate escape route in one of the levels. Mario and Kirby OVAs. These OVAs were made to teach young Japanese kids how to spell Japanese, though they are extremely rare to come by online. New Super Mario Bros. Wii leaked early. An early copy of New Super Mario Bros. Wii somehow made it onto store shelves, and I'm pretty sure somebody ended up getting one of these early builds and leaking it online. Alright, layer 6 is done. One layer left. Luigi's Hammer Toss. This is actually Luigi's first ever solo game, Yoshi the Space Dragon. In Super Mario Galaxy, Yoshi is referred to as the Space Dragon. But what does that mean? Nintendo, a sad story. This is a pretty scary YouTube video that I don't really recommend you watching at night. Mario Takes America. From what I can tell, this is completely lost media. Nobody really knows what it is, or what it could have been. Luigi's Blue Overalls. Before Luigi had all green overalls, his overalls were originally blue, and his undershirt was yellow. Pietro. Pietro is actually the third Mario Bro, first introduced in the Super Show, and made an easter egg appearance in the Super Mario movie. Happy Face Sprite. This is an unused sprite in Super Mario Bros. 2. It just stares back at you menacingly. Nintendo Japan's HQ was nearly nuked. If it wasn't for Henry Stimson, then Kyoto Japan would be no more. I highly recommend you looking into this yourself, because it's very interesting. Jumpman was inspired by Popeye. Shigeru Miyamoto wanted to make a game about Popeye, but Nintendo could not acquire the rights for Popeye, so they had to create their own unique characters, and that's how Jumpman Mario was born. Imagine a world where Popeye was the face of gaming, and not Mario. What a world. And that, my friends, was the Super Mario Iceberg. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can stick around on my channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.